Welcome back to Thursday's Tactical Tip. I'm Yoki Marks and we're here at Warrior's Edge Armory again. Today we're going to be talking about something that you may or may not have thought of before, and that is reloads. Now everyone's like, well, I reload my magazines at the range all the time. I even practice speed reloads. But we're going to go over the three most common types of reloads you can do. The first is going to be a tactical reload. The second is a speed reload. And then we will end with the most common reload and one that you may not even have thought about. So let's start with the first one. Tactical reload. Now, we're going to be using the P226 special edition one. Tactical reload happens when you've engaged in a gunfight. Boom, boom, boom. And there's a lull in the action. You're still in fear for your life. Maybe you're carrying a gun that only has six or seven rounds in it, and you want to put a fresh magazine in. What you're going to do, you're going to reach down and secure your magazine. Today I'm carrying in my typical place, which is an on the belt, outside the waistband mag holder. Um, often though, I'll carry inside of one of my pockets in something like a sticky holster magazine holder. I will reach down, keeping my eyes up, scanning, looking around, reach down, secure my magazine. I will then hold the magazine in between my fingers, drop the magazine that's in my gun into my hand. I do this because if someone pops up right now and I need to re-engage, all I have to do is push in and now I can re-engage. So I drop the magazine, I secure it in between my pointer finger and my thumb, I then rotate over, insert, my new magazine and secure my old magazine either in my pocket or back in my magazine holder. So again, what you're going to do, you've engaged, lull in the action, and here. Now, you notice I was keeping my gun up nice and high. I'm not saying that's the right way or the only way to do it. I tend to reload up here. If you wanted to bring the magazine down a little, or the gun down a little bit, and reload, reload lower, perfectly fine, okay? Don't get stuck on those little things, okay? There's arguments on both ways. So that's the tactical reload. Now the speed reload happens when you're engaged and maybe you go to, to lock back. So now your gun is in lock back and you need to put a fresh magazine in. I carry my magazines with the rounds facing my belly button. And what I typically teach is, if your magazine is in front of your hip, you carry it rounds facing your belly button. If it is behind your hip, rotate it around so that they face your spinal cord. Okay, if you're reaching behind to grab, you're actually gonna index with your thumb and then bring your hand up in order to put that magazine in. Yet, if it's in front of your hip, Typically, use your pointer finger, you locate the magazine, and you're using your pointer finger as that index, okay? So when that speed reload needs to happen, I'm out, I've engaged, I lock back, I'm going to drop and reload. Now, keep in mind that as soon as you reload, some guns, if they're held at about a 45 degree angle, and you slap that in, the slide will move forward. I don't rely on that. So when I put that new mag in, I rotate my hand and go ahead and cycle the slide. I don't use the slide catch to do it. I use my hand to manually release the slide. So again, I've engaged. Boom, 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 boom. Slide locks back. I reach down, secure the magazine, drop, insert the new magazine, run the slide, and now I can re-engage in the fight. So now we've talked about the tactical reload and the speed reload. But there's an administrative reload as well that you will do far more often 
then you do a speed reload or a tactical reload. If you are one of the many people who loads and unloads their gun every day, you get home, you take your gun off, you drop the magazine, you take the round out, and you put the gun in the safe. Next morning you wake up, you get your magazine, you place it into your gun, you cycle around into the chamber, and you put it on. Every single day you do this. Police officers often have to unload their firearms when they're going into a courthouse or something like that. This happens all the time. So let's talk about the safest way to do it. You have a firearm, it's loaded, it's time for you to unload. First thing, the rules of firearm safety always apply. Make sure your gun is pointed in a safe direction. Gun is pointed in a safe direction, I am going to drop the magazine. I'm going to secure the magazine in a pocket. I am then going to grab the top of the slide, rack the slide to the rear, letting the round fall out. It looks really cool and it saves you all the hassle of bending over to pick up that round, but it's a dangerous thing to do. When you go over and you rotate your gun and you start to play with it over here, one, I'm now covering areas over here. I can get it where it's covering myself. Two, you may get that round almost all the way out and it slips and the slide can actually hit the primer causing an out of chamber detonation. And where's your hand when that happens? Right here. So your fingers aren't gonna be happy with you do that. So I've dropped the magazine. I locked the slide to the back. I then visually and physically inspect the firearm, make sure it is actually unloaded. I then rack the slide forward just like I do every time, grabbing the slide and pulling it to the rear. I then check again. And then the third time, I can now release the hammer. If you have a decocker, release the decocker. If you don't, Fire and point in a safe direction and pull the trigger, and now you can store my firearm. To reload, you're going to grab the firearm, insert magazine, rack the slide, and let it go back to the forward position. You will see that some people, and I've seen this before, they lock the slide back, they get around, they drop it into the, the chamber, and then they release the slide. That is not a good thing to do because you can actually damage your extractor. The extractor is made for a round to slip in under, not for a round to be shoved over. And so if you're in the habit of doing that, stop. Now one last thing is we talk about administrative reloads. That round that fell out onto the floor. What I recommend is after four times of reloading the same round into the chamber, you rotate that round to the bottom of the magazine. To tell which rounds you've loaded before, keep a permanent marker somewhere around where you do your administrative reloads. And after that fourth time, draw a little line across the bottom of the round, put it in the bottom of the magazine. Once you get where you have an entire magazine with black marks on your rounds, take that magazine out to the range and use that to practice with your hollow point ammo. And the reason for this is every time a round enters the chamber, it compresses the round a little bit further into that shell, which eventually can cause overpressure, which is not a good thing. So we talked about the tactical reload, the administrative reload, and the speed reload. Practice these. Practice them with empty magazines, and then when you get out on the range, Practice them as you engage. Load a couple of rounds in, shoot, shoot, do that tactical reload, engage. Practice engaging, you start a tactical reload, something bad happens, and you engage one hand. You can make reloading drills fun. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. We look forward to seeing you again. Stay safe out there.